Check it out, today we've got a pack-in from Ido. He sent this over quite a while ago, actually, and I severely apologize for misplacing it and only getting to making the video now, but he sent a really crazy pack. Tons of stickers here, lots of uh, outlines, and a few prints and some limited prints at that. He, uh, he did an interesting thing on some, but I'll leave, uh, I'll leave that to when I get to those. And uh, other than that, he does a lot of work on thermals, some solid outlines. Um, you'll notice a lot of them actually don't say Evo, e excuse me, Edo. And a lot of them say a bunch of variety of names and whatnot. Um, he likes to switch it up and even do some uh, sives throughout here. So uh, I shall be getting a pack out to you shortly. I apologize for the slow turnaround. Here's got a, got a nice little sive there. Tribute to me, and I appreciate that. Here's another. Um, really clean line work, a lot of interesting, uh, I guess, interpretations of letters. He does some pretty unique stuff as far as how he approaches not only his letters, but um, some of the boxes within them. I uh, definitely don't see that a ton, and uh, he's got a little unique kick on a lot of stuff. So I like his work a lot. Um, this is crazy over here. And uh, he actually sent a couple alphabets, so I'll show those off at the very end, uh, which is some nice nice addition that you don't see too much, a uh, little Edo backwards, another Sive, I like that V, you got some stencils in here, interesting color combos, I like the purple and green myself, here's one of those alphabets I was talking about, so uh, do a nice little close up on this, Almost a watercolor background. Character thrown in there. Signature down at the bottom. These don't feel like stickers. They feel like more of like a a plastic sheet almost. I don't know. They they feel very laminated, which is a, a cool little thing. You know, you don't always have to send stickers in the entirety of the pack. This one feels just like a little printout on paper, and this is what I was mentioning before. He does some uh, somewhat limited versions of some of his prints. This one, in particular, was 13 of 20. Here we got another. I think that's a cool way to about doing uh, a little trade. Send some you know, prints of your work as well uh, along with uh, the pack. I might have to adopt that as it's uh, a good way to share you know previous sketches and whatnot, but not have to send five uh, full sketches into a pack um, but other than that this is a crazy little fill in here I like this eye a lot these are all original uh, drawings it seems so I appreciate that here we've got another printout of an alphabet this one in this case is a one of three so it's pretty cool now that's something I haven't done myself is do an alphabet in the longest time, but he seems to really crush it on these, and definitely a nice learning tool. And then here we've got a bigger version of that same laminated uh, watercolor alphabet. I like this a ton. This is definitely really high quality, and uh, something like that's a nice addition to send along with a sticker pack, as it's not just a sticker. You can save it for uh, a little bit better uh, display, and that's a cool addition. That it's also an alphabet. You get to see how he draws, you know, all his letters and what they kind of work in with one another. So be sure to check out Ito. I'll leave all his links and stuff um, below as well as on the end slate. That's his YouTube right there. Um, really great artist. He does a lot of speed arts and whatnot. Um, and once again I apologize for the slow turnaround of misplacing the pack uh, amongst my bookshelf. So be sure to check him out. That's going to do it for me guys. Peace.